If you design right from the beginning to create uh, community spaces and, and places where people can gather and get to know each other, you end up with this organic growth, the sort of sprouting of, of activities that people have a natural interest in. Hendrick Farm is a great example of listening to the land. We designed it by listening to what has been here for 200 years. Land Lab's primary focus is to create beautiful places. Looking at, at the question of what makes a place beautiful, what is the view like wherever you're standing in the, in the community? Are there places to walk and discover and explore? Where are the gathering places? Urban planning is something that so directly affects all of our lives. Uh, in the past 50 or 60 years, the, the notion of urban planning has, has been far more focused on, on cars and trucks and less focused on what it should be focused on, which is, is people. There are some very simple design elements that could be injected into the design of a new community that, that make an enormous social difference. Moving the houses closer to, uh, to the roads, uh, narrowing the, the roadscape so there isn't an, an enormous distance between the front of one house and the front of the house across the street. If you have rear laneways that break the garages off the fronts of the house and move them around to the back of the house, for people when they come home from work, they drive into their garage, they get out of their car and there's a physical break between their house and their car. They may even run into a neighbor and wave and, and say, uh, say hello. That even in that tiny way connects you to, to the community in which you live. It's been a long time since neighborhoods were actually designed physically around the idea that kids could play outside. The roads are narrower, there are sidewalks on both sides, front porches on the street. Parents of other kids uh, are actually, they have eyes on the street, there are people actually engaged in what's happening, and so kids feel safe. Land Lab really focuses heavily on both uh, the urban planning and the architecture. So we very deliberately um, uh, planned Hendrick Farm to incorporate numerous types of, of housing, from apartments to townhouses to uh, larger single-family houses, you know, apartments above uh, shops and restaurants. We have something for every age and demographic, and that is a critical element to the design of Hendrick Farm. We take a great deal of pride in, in focusing on all of the elements of the house. The, the material is a very important architectural uh, element. So for example, at Hendrick Farm, uh, single family homes have you know, cedar shake all the way around wood soffits, rafter tails above the porches. These are all small bits of texture that really form an important part of people's experience and makes for a better community. Hendrick Farm was in the Hendrick family for over a hundred years and so we took that farm and established it right in the in the center right in the heart of of everything that we uh, that we built here the agricultural element we wanted to make that a real central focus of the community and the kids wander wander through the farm they can actually see uh, where a carrot comes from pretty basic stuff but it's has become a big part of community life here One 
One of the other important elements is, uh, is the parks and trails, groomed trails that make it easy for people to access them and enjoy the, the environment. And all of these trails are interconnected through, uh, through the neighborhood. You can walk with your kids in safety and a sense of community through wooded areas and through uh, vast swaths of parkland. So Hendrick Farm was very deliberately designed in all of its facets to create uh, an extension of a beautiful place um, and add new elements to a beautiful place for both the new residents and the longtime residents of Old Chelsea Village. Old villages tend to be beautiful. Old places tend to be beautiful because they, they happened organically over the course of time. You know, there's an architectural texture to the place. There's a physical texture to the place. This broad mix of these places all create what is Hendrick Farm. <laughs>